Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. From the platform of Kashana e Basirat, this is Nikhat Raza reading to you Fatima is Fatima by Dr. Ali Shariati. Today we are going to begin with chapter 5. The first subheading is Who is Responsible? Scholars, is it they who do not perform their responsibilities in a respect to the people? They should give awareness, consciousness and direction to the people and they do not do so. All our geniuses and great talents occupy themselves with philosophy, theology, Sufism, jurisprudence, principles, literature, meanings, expression, novelties, conjugation and syntax. Through all the years of research, thought and their own scholarly anguish, they write nothing other than the practical treatise on how to achieve cleanliness for the ritual prayers, types of uncleanliness, the rules of menstruation, and the doubts which arise in ritual prayer. They leave aside the writing treatises on how to speak with people, treatises on how to communicate the religious truths and the philosophy of the pillars of the religion, treatises on how to communicate consciousness and awareness to people, treatises on the understanding of traditions of the Prophet and personalities of the Imams, treatises on the revolutionary purposes behind Karbala, introductory treatises on the, f on the family of the Prophet and Shia movement, treatises on the expression of thoughts and treatises on the faith of the people. All of these are written, but all of them are written without responsibility, without the role of a commander. They pass the responsibilities on to the ordinary speakers in the mosques, not to the mujtahids, that is the religious leaders whose directions for the practices of faith are followed. This is why the task of introducing the Prophet's family, the task of the advertisement of religion and the study of the truths of Islam fall prone to the failures of the old schools of religion. It is for this reason that a young group of that a group of young people, in order to study Islamic sciences and to carry jurisprudence forward, entered the schools. <coughs> if talented, through great efforts, they become jurisprudents or mushtahids or faqih, that is theologians. This group is imprisoned as teachers and removed from the community. Those who don't, do not succeed in studying, in studying, properly because they do not have the ability, talent or spiritual strength, but in exchange have warm, often artistic voices and are obliged to propagate and advertise the truths of the religion. The third group who have neither this nor that, neither the science nor at least a voice, take a third way. They become dumb and speechless. They take themselves to the sacred door and, as things would be, they move ahead of both mujtahids as well as speakers in the mosques. In the midst of this, be just. What will be the fate of the pe What will the fate of the people be? What is the fate of their religion? It is not necessary to think very hard. No, just look. It is this, a country which is full of faith and love, a nation which has the Quran and the Najul Balagha of Ali, a people who have Ali, Fatima, Hassan, Hussein and Zainab have a red history but a black fate. They have a culture and the religion of martyrdom but it is dead. We see a dream appear to Joan of Arc, a sensitive and imaginative girl, for her to fight in order to have the king returned. For centuries, her dream has given the inspiration of freedom, sacrifice, and the sense of revolution and courage to the enlightened, aware, and progressive French people. Whereas Zainab, the sister of Imam Hussein, 
who takes a heavier mandate, the mandate of Hussein in her Ali-like hands, continues the movement of Karbala, Karbala which opposed murderers, lying terror, and hysterics. She continues the movement of a time when all of the heroes of the revolution are dead and the breath of the forerunners of Islam has ceased in the midst of our people, when commanders of the Islam of Muhammad and Shazam of Ali are gone, but she has been turned into a sister who mourns. I hear reproachful cries towards the scholars who are responsible for these beliefs, ideas and thoughts of the people. I do not know whether these cries come from the throat of Ali or from the depths of the unconscious consciences of the people. What are they busy with? What are you busy with? Where do you speak from? Why do you not speak? Throughout all these years, where is one book for people telling them what is in the Quran? In place of praise, eulogy, prayer, poetry, song, lamentation and spider webs about the love of Rumi. Why have you sealed the lips of Ali among people? A Persian speaking person cannot easily understand what Ali has said. But all of the works of Lamartine, the French lover, can be read in Persian. That you can say. All the songs of the ancient Greek women, Bilitis, with dubious morals, can be read in Persian. But the words of Ali, one saying of Ali, cannot be read. Where is one small, short, correct recital about the real lives, beliefs and behaviors of the Imams? You speak so much about their essences, generosities and miracles, but where are the books about them? You breathe their miracles and for their birthdays and the days of their deaths, you have festivals and mourning ceremonies. Where are the treaties for the Shiite people enamored of Ali? that say who Ali was and who was Fatima, who Fatima was and how their children lived and how they thought, what they did and what they said. Other people who spend their lives in love with Shiite saints and who carry who and who cry over the difficulties they faced, who serve them for months and years, who glorify their names, spend money, give their sincerity, their patience to them, deserve to know the real lives of, of each one of their imams. Their lives should serve as example for each one of them. Their lives, thoughts, words, silences, freedoms, their imprisonments, punishments, martyrdoms should give awareness of life, chastity, humaneness to people. But people know them only by their number. That is the sixth imam or the eighth imam, etc. If an ordinary people moans for Imam Hussein and on the anniversary of his death, Ashura strikes his head with dagger and hears the pain even and bears the pain even with pleasure and still knows Hussein is an oblique way and mis misunderstands Karbala, who is responsible? If a woman cries with her whole being, if the recollection of the name of Fatima and Zainab burns her to bones, and if knowing it is worthwhile, she would, <coughs> with complete love, give her life for them, and yet, if she does not thoroughly know Fatima and Zainab, who is responsible? Neither this man nor this woman know one line of their words. None of them have read one li line about their lives. They can only recall Fatima beside her house at the moment when her side was struck, and they only know Zainab from the moment when she leaves the tents to go to gather the bodies of the martyrs. They only know her from the morning of the day of Ashura up until noon. From then on, they lose her. Their awareness of Zainab ends the day when her work and great mandate, the, leg the legacy of Hussein, just begins. Their knowledge about Zainab ends here. Then who is responsible? And thus, educated and open-minded boys and girls judge the situation and say, what's the use of this religion of crying and lamentation? What can such religion, religion do? 
मैट नॉट डू नॉट डू ऑल दिस एक्साइटमेंट लव लिमिटेशन एंड क्राइस फॉर हुसैन फातिमा एंड जैनब अनटाइ फॉर अ बैकवर्ड्स इम्प्रेजेंट नेशन विच नीड्स अवेयरनेस एंड कमिटमेंट टू निगेट द प्रेशन एंड इन ऑर्डर टू सीक फ्रीडम वॉट पेन डज दिस रिलीजन ऑफ रिमोर्स दीज एंशंट वूंड्स हिस्टोरिक लिमिटेशन एंड कर्सिंग ट्रीट फॉर आर डिप्राइव्ड इलेक्ट्रिक वुमेन हु वॉन्ट देयर फ्रीडम एंड क्लियर विजन does one reach the heart of the problem by doing away with love and hatred people are busy with feelings which passed centuries ago in foreign lands they relate to lives past living among strangers they do not know persecution they have not sensed the chains of oppression around their necks nor the oppression which when falling upon their human shadow causes them causes them pain they have never burst in anger or become boiling hot under the remembrance of the chains of the oppression which a caliph one day hung around the neck of a sick person they have not thrown up their hands and struck their daggers upon their heads until they leave their senses they have not seen them when their consciousness returns when their heart grows quiet when their sins become pure when all the responsibility falls upon falls from their shoulders when they even cheat at the scales of the divine justice when they tamper with their deeds for their afterlife as a result when they have performed enough dirty deeds to compare with stars in the sky the forms of the waves of the sea and the sands of the desert with a small amount of surgery by striking their dagger upon their heads they completely change their situation and become as innocent as as the moment when they were born from their mother's womb and then even god owes them something If people believe that the advantage of the friendship of Ali their faith in the sanctity of Ali will result in a chemical and acidic reaction which accords with the Quran God will change their devil deeds their evil deeds with good into good deeds quoted from 25-71 the Quran in other words the souls of these of this very treason which they commit in this world will change its essence into the other world and it will take the form of good deeds then who is responsible if this in if this imamat and sanctity of ali which for the centuries had the strength of a movement desiring justice seeking freedom and a fighting spirit opposed to oppression and despotic institution if it is this movement can free awakened and aware people and give them liberty justice chastity independence and motion and if it could change them both socially and individually and if the movement could bring about an intellectual revolutionary leadership which fights against classes and gives life and consciousness to a society and they have not shown this who is responsible if the value influence and effect of the following of the following ali fatima and the imams are transferred from this world to another world and its effect is only measured after death then who is responsible if the promises and covenants of our fathers to this family have no effect upon their thoughts their time their lives society and if their sons seeing their ineffectiveness remain cut off from their promises and links with the religion and his this family then who is responsible with this we come to end of the chapter 5 and embark upon chapter 6 which titles what did they miss first subtitle the family of ali intellectuals versus the people it is this it is that this family is without effect is it sorry is it that this family is without effect or is it that our young generation and intellectuals are in error or have our mothers and fathers failed in their responsibilities 
Ali is the most manifest of truths and represents the most progressive schools of thought which has ever taken the human form. It is not a myth. It's a human reality or should be from that which it could be and isn't. And his wife Fatima is a perfect example of an ideal woman, of what a woman could do and no one has become. Hussein and Zainab, the sister and the brother, who brought such a deep revolution in the history of mankind, give a sense of honor of, to freedom and disgrace to despotism and oppression. The house of Ali is like the Kaaba, in which children and inheritors of Abraham reside. The Kaaba is a sign, a symbol, and it is real. It is made of stone, whereas they are human beings. The Kaaba is the place of circumambulation for Muslims, only whereas the, Ka the house of Ali is the destination of every heart which understands beauty, knows the majesty of humanity, freedom, justice, love, sincerity, strength, encourages jihad and sacrifices to preserve the lives and freedom of the people. From another point of view, in the difficult and confused space of history among the palaces with the Caesars, as history always breathes from them, culture, civilization, religion, thought, discipline, and art are turned around, are intelligent, loyal lovers of virtue who have known the, this household, luckless and quiet, have always been sacrificed through oppression and deceitfulness. Our people have tied eternal links to them. All their faith, longing and thought and feeling have been devoted to them. Now even their language admires them and their means of proof say this. Their hearts beat for them, their eyes cry and they sorrow with their sorrow. They sacrifice themselves and their possessions upon the way. They withhold nothing. Look at these poverty-stricken, starving people who show their feelings and faith which they have in each individual member of this beloved family. What things have they not done and what things will they still not do for them? The spending of the money often shows with more clarity the power of faith and sincerity. Let us count for all the time, endowments and money which people have spent for this family. Even today, where materiality has gained strength, religion has been weakened and economic attractions have pulled hearts to themselves. And we see that the poverty among people is so advanced that the problem of their bread and water, children milk and medicine for the hospital and the most important thing in their life still any time and under any circumstances which relate to this family we see that over one million ceremonies are held in their honor. Over 150,000 clergy exist for the reciting of the congregational ritual prayers along the, with the speakers of that prayer. There are more than 700,000 Sayyids, this, that is, descendants of the Prophet's family, who speak at the lamentation ceremonies along with the eulogists and lamenters whose task is to restore the memory of this family. How much is spent on the building of Husseinias, that is, buildings for the ceremonies and related to Imam Hussein? The kiyas, places where the passion plays are formed. Hiyats, neighborhood clubs where young men meet to form a group with participates in religious ceremonies. Dastas, the generic, the generic name of the groups, that which is endowed for lamentation ceremonies and food, that which is held in the name of taxes, that is homes. The religious leaders share that spend in good work and feeding poor people is above and beyond counting. It is particularly important when we consider that this country is one of the economically background, backward countries. Income, according to headcount, is minimum. 
if we pay attention in particular to the great differences in classes which exist in the islamic societies we see that half of the capital of the com- country is in the hands of a few thousands of people we see that two thirds of whatever there is is at the disposal of only 10% of the population we see that as opposed to the past capital has been taken from the former landlords and the former merchants of the bazaar and has been put into the hands of new capitalists new industrialists modern bourgeois companies and middlemen who sell foreign goods or produce new products for themselves we see that the money has escaped from their hands and has changed its place from village storage areas from the shops of the old merchants under the old roofs of the bazaar from the hands of local handicrafts and traditional jobs and workers from the hands of money exchangers and indigenous professional guilds from traditional industries and classical profession to the banks stock exchange foreign company agencies distributors contractors and factories this new class a newly created group are characterized by foreignness and modernization they breathe the door of the west they are not religion if any of them had a memory or memory of or inclination towards religion it has long since been ironed out luxury ceremony seasonal things pretentiousness and foreignness prevails in their work all of this plus their islam in the words of sayyid qutb is an american islam people are who follow religion without responsibility without expending without effort most often give their opinion and present objections without acting or investing anything intellectuals are brought into being when expend no money young girls and boys have for years had played parties dancing parties in switzerland paris england america and austria upon their lips they have been most generous to these things then their wives go abroad once or twice a year with their money bags overflowing with money in the stores and moulin rouges they put money into the pockets of the capitalists clever people and milkers of money there are no more than domesticated cows seen by deceiving dealers as donkeys with money coming out of the backward countries they place their wealth into the cleft of the expensive dancers the wealthy go slumming and when they return to their country until once again they gather up enough money to go to go there once again and be milked they do all this very naturally and without any mistake of error even holding their heads high which lies they turn people in circles with lies they turn people in circles they also put people into obligation they call this progression modern living and a sign of civilization at the same time a small merchant or villager gets ready for his pilgrimage hajj to makkah or karbala after a lifetime of work and anguish and production he goes on the principles that this is the only thing in his life which will be both a time of rest as well as pleasure a journey a tour traveling abroad and coming to know other countries he will be seeing the world and renewing his faith his beliefs and his union with his history he unites with his culture he makes the pilgrimage to his beloved people he comes to know the remains of his civilization he sees art which relates to himself because of the truth of his love his desires and the longing of his spirit his feelings needs and finally the duty of his religion faith once in a lifetime he intends to make the pilgrimage he takes 
seven hundred dollars. He has to pay dollars four hundred for his plane ticket, and the rest he uses for his expense there and to buy gifts which he takes back home. That which he spends there is the money he pays to a rent, to rent a tent or a bus. Or buy a few days of food supplies. The total of all this does not reach the cost of one night of Mr. and Mrs. Champagne in the Lido or one of their caviar breakfast in the George Five Hotel. It's even cheaper. When the memory of this pseudo intellectual, who he who supported, understands the subtle points of things. This most recently reborn, that is financially open-minded man with a brand new wallet, recalls a little merchant or a villager who lacks splendor and sophistication. All of the human feelings of this gentleman, his worthwhile knowledge, class perception, and the sense he has for his country, the sympathy he feels towards society, his national. national pride his economic information his progressive ideas and the remains of his being an intellectual spills out at one time with such venom that even the chad guevara c h e g u e v a r a could not stop him we see the changes in this particular class side by side with general economic poverty the town dwellers and the village dwellers have become poorer entangled with affliction and hunger and the class of minor landowners and the merchants who become weak and dispersed in the face of growth of new classes the majority of them have remained in the same class a minority of people changed classes and moved to a new one we only see two groups the modern types and the traditional types those loyal to their beliefs and religious rights in sense uh, are are part of these two groups because of these identical and perceptible socio-economic changes the loyal ones remain quietly in the same class with few economic changes or else they are forced into weakness the strength of the religion which they participated in and the great expense which are incurred in respect to rites and the inaugurating of places for gathering or building for religious purposes all are a sign that the bindings of our people sp- people spirit with the prophet and ali's family is unbelievably deep and strong it shows to what extent their faith and sincerity is strong and pu- and pure it is often It's after consideration these things that the question who is responsible suddenly drops upon your head like a sledgehammer a person who has until now followed the problem and with precise study logically and clearly uncovered all sides of the issue studied it and face by face has seen that this is this and seen that all is correct takes a good look at islam and shiism Islam Islam the last historical religious school of thought and the most perfect Muhammad the Quran the companions and their histories are models of life chastity and civilization they bring law progress strength and culture to society Shiism the religion of imamat and justice followers of ali and his children shiism has had a history full of jihad it its believers show perseverance they are inspired by freedom and justice they are an unacceptable fire from despots and from the prejudiced they have submitted to the way linked to the anger of truth it is its followers are enemies of anything which conceals the truth they are enemies of a politics which reduces one to slavery they are enemies of economic exploitation and spiritual despotism to see the issue from another point of view are people warm with faith melting with love with more than a religious belief with truth and thought give their love to this family their name raises their spirits 
the mere mention of them makes blood boil in their veins in their longing for sacrifice pure blood flows to their they are ready to be martyred out of their love for them they cry in pain from their sorrow they are full of sorrow because they were not present on that bloody day of ashura then bloody tears run sometimes insane like they draw their daggers and strike it upon their heads they lament all the year long their sorrow is real all the year they think about those who went before them then full full of praise for their positions and description of their titles united as lovers head to toe dressed in black from one end to the other drowned in tears and pain they long with their whole being to play with their lives they their love brings on thirst restlessness anguish and it finally consumes them from yet another point of view our entitled thinkers are sensitive people awakened aware of the fate of the world and the fate of the society they are familiar with their spirit they lament all year long their sorrow is real all year they think about those who went before them then full full of praise their position and the description of their titles united as lovers head to toe dressed in black from one end to the other drowned in tears and pain they long with their whole being to play with their lives their long their love brings on thirst restlessness anguish and it finally consumes them from yet another point of view are enlightened thinkers and sensitive people awakened aware of the fate of the world and the fate of their society they are familiar with the spirit and the movement of time their timely demands are in need of a boiling faith they seek out revolutionary thought they think about freedom equality and ever awareness of people they attempt to bring about the feelings movement responsibility and self awareness among their people they see their people and the religion of hussein zainab justice imamat strength theology jihad torture martyrdom karbala and they wonder why are there no vestiges who when each one of them could give life awareness enthusiasm and encouragement to those who are faithful to these ideas which overflow with life and liberty why do these loyal farmers whose origins lie in the majesty of humanity not bear fruit then who is responsible in one word the scholars if they who should have made ali understandable it is they who should have taught the thoughts of ali in islam the scholars are not wise people who guarantee nothing they do not have a handful or a bucket full or a truck full of knowledge science does not consist of hundreds of pieces of information and knowledge in their hearts there is a ray of light the light of god it is not a question of divine science illumination or gnosticism it is not chemistry physics history geography jurisprudence principles philosophy or logic these are all types of scientific knowledge a science becomes a science becomes illuminated with light when the knowing of it brings about a responsibility and guiding knowledge a science of ideas in the quran this is called jurisprudence prudence but today it is known as the science of rules and the divine law and things related to it this science should not remain in or with darkness rather it lights up space and breaks up the night apart it shows the way it is not the normal teacher of students the selected sage it is the teacher of people its knowledge is not platonic academic knowledge it is the knowledge of all of the mandate of the prophet it is these learned people 
who will be the inheritors of the prophet the knowledge of knowns is a kind of power and the knowledge of light is guidance the enlightened sage is an intellectual with clear vision intellectuals should be thinkers who sense a responsibility when expressing their thoughts in relationship to their own beliefs or the beliefs of their people the responsibility of the shiit sage is even more important and clear he is the vice regent of the imam with his knowledge he accepts the responsibility of imamat and the imamat brings with it the responsibility of the prophecy the learned shiit is the vice regent of the imam he takes the religion taxes on behalf of the 12th imam the most evident of this of his responsibilities is to have people come to know who is the imam who the imam is who were the imams and what did they think what did they say what did they do how did they live what role did they play in history what was their school of thought against what thought what crime what order and what regime did they live and did they resist if we see that these thoughts are not made available to people not written in their tongue if we see that the extent of books that there are a european film star there are not books about all of the shia saints the scholars are then responsible if an educated shia today knows the desires and the playful games and billetes the ancient greek wore through a beautiful persian translation of her most enchanting songs and poems whereas a good translation of ali's words cannot be found if our people only know a few names of some of the ancient shia leaders and they know a few miracles good deeds phrases of praise and virtues of each of their imams and from their whole lives they only know the day of their birth and the night of their death and nothing more then the scholars are responsible dear ladies and gentlemen with this we come to the end of the chapter and to what is written at page 43 of the book we stop here now until we meet again for the next chapter thank you very much we must remember that we are presenting this to you all from the platform of kashanae basirat thank you khuda hafiz